So yeah, seriously, I'm coming back to the private house. So this house has sharing, is sharing the same concept with the toilet. It relates to how to design the boundaries or how to make the new understanding of the boundaries. This is a model. This house is very simple. It's a three boxes. Box in box in box. Big box, middle box, and small box. And each box has a lot of many, many openings. But openings on the big box has no glass. So it is just the openings. So rain comes in and the wind blows. So inside of this big box is outside. It has trees. So outside garden. Then this middle box, it has a glass uh, window or something. So inside of this middle box is inside but still outside this small box. So if you have three box layers, box and box and box, then the definition of inside and outside is always blurring. Inside of this big box is outside of this middle box. So outside of this middle box is inside of the big box. It's always like a relative thing. And then finally you just define where is inside and where is outside according to your activities, according to your feelings and according to your behavior. And of course, according to the weather or according to the seasons. So no different, no definite boundary here, but it is just a blurring, changing boundary. Or we could say it is the really thick wall. It has a really thick wall from here to there. But you can come into the wall. You can enjoy the thickness of the wall because the wall itself has varieties of areas. Again, yeah, it has a varieties of diversities. Between outside and inside, we have different types of the area. So here, this is a garden. This is outside, but still it's covered by big box, concrete box. It's like a part of the house. So it's half inside and half outside. So this is the concept. Usually we have a wall inside and outside clearly divided, so it's okay. But then, like a toilet, if we separate this wall into many, many different pieces, then deeper inside, outer outside, but then between inside and outside, you have getting like gradations, rather inside, middle of the inside, a little bit getting outside, almost outside, but slightly inside of your territory. So that kind of gradations is creating the diversities of your choice. You can choose which part today, now, this is the boundary. So inside of that, I'm very, feeling very safe. In the summertime or in the nice weather time, the boundaries is getting really, really outer. This is part of your own. Room. But in the winter time, yeah, of course, you're coming more and more inside. Not only by the weather, not only by the season, but your feelings. Or when you have a guest, the five friends is coming in, then the whole boundary is getting more open. So in this here, the meaning of the boundaries is always changing. Here again, inside of the house, but still outside with trees, open air, but still protected. So here, how protect or how open is the very, very key. And it's really a fundamental topic, I think, to think about architecture. And from very, very inside, you will see this is the in, inside of the middle, a small box. Small box, opening, and the middle box, opening, and the big box, and opening. So the layering of the openings is creating this amazing, how to say, fragmentation of the sky, 